Hey everyone, it's Andrew Guy with Simply Vegas and I have a beautiful home for sale behind me here in South Summerlin. We're in Southwest Las Vegas, about 15 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip and I have this beautiful two-story home behind me here. It's a three-car garage, 3,702 square feet. It's a four bedroom, five bath, built in 2019, listed for 1.79 million. Uh, we're in Nova Ridge here in Summerlin. It's a beautiful area. We have the mountains right behind me here. Just uh, the location is, is phenomenal. So can't wait to show you the inside. We're going to go take a look in a beautiful pool out back, beautiful private backyard. So much to look at. So follow me. Come on. Okay, everyone, here we are. Home for sale in South Summerlin. 3,702 square feet. It is a four bedroom, five bath, three car garage. This is going to be a two car garage here. I love the glass panels, let some light in the garage. Really nice garage door. Third car garage is here. We'll talk about that in one second. Take a look down the side of the house. Just a block wall there. We'll see more of the side in the back. Just a nice desert landscape. We do have this lighting up the side and really nice paver driveway. Desert landscape on the front of the home. And so this third car garage here is actually just accessible from the outside. You open it up, um, storage, or a lot of the times people put their toy car in that garage, you know, the car you don't drive that often. Um, but just little upgrades you see right away on, on this type of luxury. So, you know, not your standard track home, um, just outline of the garage door. And then you could just see a lot of features right away. You know, you have the brickwork. Uh, again, that different style top above the garage door, these really nice lights, the metal paneling on the doors there. And then you come up and there's actually a really big gate right as you walk in. This big metal gate does have a code for a lock there. So a really nice security feature here. And as you open this huge gate, you come into the courtyard. You can see right through the home the pool out back there and a nice pretty beautiful little courtyard area have some table and chairs out here this is the front door so it's not like you want to block the front door but you could have a little sitting area out here if you like and this is the massive front door again luxury style so we have a bigger taller wider door you know glass windows well i guess most windows are glass but windows large windows everywhere uh, letting light in. I do like this bamboo here. Pretty cool. That's going to kind of creep up over time. But let's go inside and take a look again. These metal lights. So just a lot of nice touches. This courtyard has these really nice pavers as well with the river rock. Just a nice, comfortable spot here. So we'll walk in. This does have an electronic pad as well on the front door. And you'll see right away we have this gray tile. Uh, it's about a 20 by 10 maybe um, tile there. And that's going to be throughout this whole home. And as you walk in, we have a chandelier right above us. And there's a really nice upgraded railing with the stairway that kind of spills out. I really like that. So it comes down and then just kind of, instead of just being here, it does spill out. We have the booties there so that People have clean feet walking in. And over to the left immediately. This room's a little dark, but it's by design. So this is actually the theater. So it's a nice big open room. Uh, this is where your TV's gonna go on the wall here. And then we have speakers above. We have speakers in the wall. We have speakers behind in the wall. This is actually a slider going out to that courtyard. And they have big blackout curtains here. So we can black out this room completely. As you can see, no light comes in through there at all. So we can black these out completely. This door is really awesome. So it's a barn door slider. Again, blocks out all the light. And it's got this really cool kind of industrial, just tack welded metal um, barn door. So. Really cool, I like that touch a lot. It's very nice. Very nice door. Little refrigerator, kind of server table back here uh, for snacks and whatnot during the movie. This is gonna be probably your subwoofer, I'm guessing. 
and then all your other speakers around. So a nice, nice movie room here. Then of course, dimmable lighting on the ceiling. Uh, just a really nice room, dark color painted on the walls. And there's also a bathroom attached to the theater. So same cabinets we'll see in the kitchen, uh, that grainy wood look pattern. And then these kind of upgraded handles on everything. Really nice sink and faucet upgraded with the black matte finish toilet and then just kind of an extra room over here just an extra closet so um storage area whatever you need to do in there so that's it for the theater you can brighten up this room a little bit if you open everything but it's kind of intended to be a little darker so back through this foyer when we come in we turn right and this brings us into the main living area just look at this space Super high ceiling, beautiful centerpiece in the middle of the room that the crystals on there just reflects, reflects the light. And then this giant, giant island. I can't tell you how giant this island is. It must be 15 by probably eight or nine. So really, really giant island. Plenty of light coming in this house. Again, with these types of builds, you get so many extra windows. See windows all through the top, windows coming down. These are going to be those three panels looking out into that courtyard area. And this is your main, main living uh, TV room. So you can see a plug on the floor here, maybe a lamp or whatever you need to plug in. And then you have this TV area entertainment center. Really, really beautiful. So this wonderful marble uh, back wall here with the matching cabinets. You can our storage down there. You have your plugs, you have your Cat 6 plug in your cable plug in your power put your tv there i would go in minimum of 85 inch wow that's going to be beautiful really really nice room to watch tv in another plug on the floor over here which is pretty cool so no, very thoughtful and then this big slider going out back we'll take a look at that in a moment so turning around then we have the kitchen i love being able to cook and watch tv at the same time so Again, massive, massive uh, island here. And then we have an upgraded stove. This is a monogram. Uh, it does have the flat top burger on the side as well with the upgraded range. I do like how this is kind of cut out and lowered as well. Just a nice little touch here. Plenty of cabinets all throughout and then Kind of a nice little cook area that gives you your drawers on the sides as well. So really kind of cool setup. I mean, you can chop, you can cook. I, I like this the way it's designed. Really, really nice. Then we have this double extra wide refrigerator, the professional style. Um, somebody left their Starbucks and the freezer on the side. But these are the big built-in monogram professional uh, refrigerator freezer with the built-in cabinets of ground as well. Really nice backsplash, you'll see that along this wall here. Boom, look at that backsplash. So that's gonna be on all the walls, including this little one right here. And then more storage space here. We have the oven microwave combo right here. Um, so I don't know if that microwave works as an oven as well. What we're seeing nowadays is they both are ovens and then one's a microwave too, but I think this is just a microwave single oven combo here. But again, monogram and very high quality, really good stuff. And then off to the left of that, we have this big pantry, which is actually under the stairs. Good use of space. We have some storage area down there and then tons of pantry space here. And they installed these pullouts as well, which are really cool. So a lot of little extra touches, recessed lighting in here. I mean, you know, just, just the extra mile. And it's nice and finished as well. They didn't just say, oh, it's a pantry. It doesn't need to look the same. Everything matches. So a really nice big pantry area. Plenty of cabinets. I mean, you can't, you can't have enough cabinets in this house because it has no shortage. Um, I don't even know if that made sense. So sense what I just said, but big basin sink. We have this uh, matte finish uh, faucet as well. Water filtration system. Nice window looking out. Put a little decoration on the wall there or something. Um, have something to look at. <clears throat> nice modern light with these really nice orange light bulbs uh, above the dining area. 
So a really big square dining area with plenty of windows and mountain views when you're in there. So you're just eating, looking out at the mountains, really pretty. And you can see that pool, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Continuing on downstairs, this house is very big, 3,702 square feet, four bedroom, five bath, listed for 1.79 million. We have a coat closet off here to the left, so we just passed this TV area and we're coming back to the right side here. And then we have our guest bath powder room here, so just a little half bath um, powder room here. Standard fare, but perfect. You have guests over and need to use the restroom, there you go. And then a pretty big laundry room as well. A nice sink, same countertops, cabinets as everything else in the house. This does have a, a chrome sink on or chrome faucet, but uh, no problem at all. It's a laundry room, washer and dryer. Everything comes with this house. The washer, dryer, refrigerator, garbage disposal, dishwasher, um, refrigerator. And then some storage behind here. Again, those really professional racks, really nice um, storage. So this is the laundry room. And then you also have your server room here um, where you can run your electronics for the whole house. I believe you can run your theater from in here, your security system, all that stuff will be done from the security area here. Coming through here, we have the garage. So you can see a lot of light coming in the garage. Uh, the epoxy floor. I love the upgraded garage door, your water valve pressure reader. Uh, our winder pressure valve, uh, sprinkler valve. We have the water heater over here. It has a nice little coat on the water heater that keeps it uh, cool and hot, whatever it means. Just keeps it at an end temperature. Uh, and then we have a water. I can't speak today, I apologize, but that's a water circulator. So it pushes water through the house faster. So when you turn on the hot water, it gets it upstairs to that upstairs bathroom quicker. And then the water softener here, so you just add your salt right here. But yeah, so this is the garage. So just a nice uh, nice little two car garage here, good size. And then remember we have the third car as well um, that's not accessible from the house. Which depending on the type of home in the area, you'll see those uh, sometimes without the access from inside. So to the left of the TV back here, we are still downstairs. We have a nice little linen, uh, linen unit or storage area here with the little shelf and then into the primary bedroom. So this is the primary bedroom, pretty big primary bedroom. It does have vaulted ceilings and it does have a centerpiece. Again, a lot of windows and then this big marble centerpiece uh, with area for your TV. And then we also have this electric fireplace here. It changes colors. Um, different kind of things you could do with the fireplace there and it does give off some heat as well but really nice and then yeah by the right size TV fits in there perfectly and good size room on my last video I mentioned there was a king size bed in the room here it looked like it wouldn't maybe fit this room is bigger than it looks I promise and if you had a king size bed in here you would see how big this room actually is I had someone comment uh, to me earlier that this room wasn't very big. And, you know, I don't argue with them, obviously, uh, but this room is much bigger than it looked, but it just needs some furniture in here to make it feel that big. It's just one of those weird illusion things. And that brings us into the primary bathroom. This is, they definitely have the prime in primary bathroom here. Look at this shower. So off to the left here, really long double shower. Excellent. No shower door, just shower up and come out this side. So pretty. I love showers like this. Um, you're seeing this a little bit in the newer style homes. And then we have these two big vanities with lighting behind them. And then the built-in faucet. This is just so cool. I did really cool built-in faucet just right into the wall there. Um, nice big vein, uh, countertops as well. We have two of those. The matte, back, uh, matte finish black hardware i see to slow down a little maybe that's fine fumbling words uh and then the big walking closet here plenty of storage they did do a lot of this uh interior cabinets uh for this home so plenty of storage here shoes plenty of racks for clothes so a nice big walking closet there 
And then as we come back, we have the water closet here to the left. So this is going to be the water closet. Bidet built in, uh, already comes with the bidet. You're all set, the remote control here for that. So high quality, uh, high quality bathroom. Now I love the balance on these. Like just notice that balance. You're used to the normal blinds with just the uh, big plastic wood looking piece that goes across the top, but that's actually really nice looking. And then this brings us into the larger closet. So same setup. So it's kind of a dual closet system for the maybe two people sharing this room. Plenty of shelving, plenty of places to hang stuff, wardrobes, you name it, recessed lighting. Very, very nice. And that floor you're in throughout most everything in the house. So um, this is going to be the primary bathroom with the two really large closets. And uh, that's going to wrap it up for downstairs outside the, the uh, out back with the pool, which we'll look at in a moment. So we're going to go back through here. We're going to head upstairs. Again, the spillover on this stairway is really great. And this is one of the old few places where there's a different flooring. Tile on the stairs uh, might not work out that well, I don't know. And then we're gonna have this type flooring upstairs, which is a wood look laminate, a uh, really nice railing. I love the feel up here. Kind of you go one way or another, nice little catwalk, plenty of windows and lighting. And then we have an overlook here into that big open room. So maybe standing room only for the TV for watching the Super Bowl or something. I don't know. Anyways, the second bedroom upstairs, here we are. So we have a big, big closet for a second bedroom. Again, all that professional closet organization set up. We do have a TV mount, the Cat 5, the plug there as well. Seems like they had all the TVs covered in this house. So no shortage of places to hang your TV. Really nice light as well as the recessed lighting. And then a bathroom as well. So a full bath. Same cabinet, same sink as the downstairs bathrooms, toilet. Then a nice little enclosed shower here. Tile shower, glass doors. Uh, it's nice to see actual tile and not fire glass on the secondary shower. But again, they're paying a premium price for this home. Black hardware. So very nice in there. And uh, let's go to the other side. So back down the catwalk. See the mountains out the windows there. You see mountains everywhere you look in this house. So this is going to be bedroom number three. Same light on the ceiling. Same recessed lighting. Um, these curtains, which are great off curtains, but they're blinds. Uh, they're roller blinds. I have sold them down, sold them up in the house, but really nice roller blinds. I love the top of these. I think they look really smooth on the house. And then again, all the closets are upgraded with this, you know, uh, closet organization systems. Plenty of places to hang your clothes, storage. Those racks again that pull racks again that pull out. We have the uh, upgraded closet doors as well. Those closet doors don't have like the inlay. Uh, really nice. And then there's a Jack and Jill bathroom in here too. So this is gonna cut across through here. Uh, we have two sinks, same setup, same countertop, same cabinets. Really huge mirror, recessed lighting, that tile floor. So this kind of cuts through, and then we're gonna have the shower. So a nice big ceramic tub with all the tile, the black hardware, same as we saw in the other bathroom. This didn't need a share bathroom for these two bedrooms. So it is a Jack and Jill, that's the bedroom we just came from. So we come through here and we are in the other bedroom. So this is their closet. So this is the fourth bedroom in the house. Again, upgraded closet, window in the closet, really nice walk-in and so assuming we came from the catwalk, so you don't get confused. Here's the catwalk. So we just came in. We originally went into that room. This is the Jack and Joe bathroom. Now we're going this way into this other bedroom. There's the walk-in closet. Here's the other bedroom. So nice chandelier, raised ceiling to very tall. 
big glass window, two big glass doors. Again, that TV uh, mount there. And then these doors are mostly for loaf. They do open, uh, but I don't think they're really gonna do much, uh, much there. So very, very nice upstairs. This is the fourth bedroom, 3,702 square feet. Four bedroom, five bath. Low tree in South Sutherland, we're in Nova Ridge. This holds for sale for $1.79 million. And we're gonna go check out this beautiful pool and private backyard. My name is Andrew Guy of Simply Vegas. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, have anyone looking to buy, sell, or invest, or yourself looking to buy, sell, or invest, please give me a call. I'd love to help you out. So this sliding door is unique. It actually slides, you see one, two, three panels. So it actually slides back twice. So you have an opening that's that big. Very, very nice. And this brings us to a nice tiled backyard. The entire back is tiled. We have a TV mount here in our covered patio with the recessed lighting. We have speakers out here. We also have a ceiling fan with the light. All these windows going into the house and then this beautiful pool with this bamboo, basically fence they've put up for privacy. So uh, no one can see in. Really nice private pool here. Um, a nice rectangle design. Very clean, looks like it's fairly deep. And then you have your spa here. So your hot tub. And then you have a little area off to the side here as well, where you have a little turf spot. So you do have a little bit of grass. Not real grass, but it is grass. Pool equipment's gonna be down the side of the home over here. Again, with these homes, you just, they never stop with the details. So on the back side here, you have all this nice brickwork pattern. The back of the house is actually very appealing as well. Really like that. So many windows. And then they just reflect the blue sky and the green. So, I mean, everything's blue and green out here. It's really, really nice. And the weather today is beautiful. So that bamboo wall, really, really nice. It's got to keep it trim, but that bamboo will just go and go and go. And then down the side of the house here. So really nice. They just turf the whole thing. If you have pets, this will be great for the pets to run on, um, do their business if they need to. And this goes all the way up to that gate there. It's a nice high quality metal gate. So really beautiful house. If you're interested in seeing this house or any homes like this, please give me a call today. My number's at the bottom here about a million times. I'm Andrew Guy with Simply Vegas. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next tour. Thank you.